sorry guys if you guys see me i'm holding oh my god he just took all my makeup i'm holding this on so today we're gonna be doing this look um using the shami Azmin eyelashes and shahima and you know what you guys i'm so obsessed with these eyelashes i'm so obsessed with this whole look it's like the doll look the blush the white in the water line the big eyelashes i feel like a brat's doll <laughs> So first I'm going to start off by filling in my eyebrows with the Morphe eyebrow pencil in the shade Mocha. I really like this eyebrow pencil because it's super cheap, it's super affordable, and the shade is like bomb. It's the perfect shade for my eyebrows. It's not too dark and it's not too light at all. Now taking my LA Girl Pro Concealer, I'm just going to be carving out my eyebrows and also priming my eyelids at the same time. Now taking my Beauty Blender, I'm just blending out the concealer. Now for the eye look, we're going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Amrezy Palette. Taking the shade OG from the palette, I will be applying that on my crease and blending it out with a Morphe brush. Now taking the shade Wasted from the palette, I will be applying that on my eyelid. Now I'm applying the shade Barb from the palette on my eyelids. Now taking my Bite Beauty Change Maker Supercharged Foundation in the shade L35, I'm just applying that all over my face and then I will be blending it out with a beauty blender. You guys, this foundation is so bomb. I love it so much. The shade is like the perfect yellow. Like you cannot find a perfect yellow like this. So you guys like have to buy this foundation if you guys like yellowy shades. Now taking the CoverGirl Concealer in shade M100, I'm just concealing under my eyes, the bridge of my nose, and my forehead, and my chin. Now I'm setting everything in with my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. Now I am taking the MAC Studio Fix Powder Foundation in the shade C4 and applying it all over my face and dusting off that Laura Mercier translucent powder as well. Now I'm taking the Bye Bye Pores by IT Cosmetics and I'm just applying it all over my face the same way I applied the MAC Powder Foundation. This stuff is so good, it literally makes your face so flawless and looks airbrushed. Now taking my ABH Contour Kit, I am just contouring my face using all the contour shades. Now taking Hula by Benefit Bronzer, I am just contouring my nose. Now taking a Morphe brush, I am just blending out those harsh contour lines on my nose. Now taking my MAC Studio Fix Powder, I'm just dragging it down on the bridge of my nose. Now I am reverse contouring my nose and applying some translucent powder on the sides of my nose. While wiping off the translucent powder, I will be dragging it under my eyes just so it can all match together and look seamlessly flawless. Now taking the shade Marshmallow from the ABH Glow Kit, I'm just highlighting my nose, my eyebrow bone, and the inner corners of my eyes. Now 
Now I'm using the NARS cheek palette. I'm using these two shades. Now applying MAC Feline Eyeliner and you guys, this stuff is my favorite. I'm just tight lining the top of my eyelids. Now using my most favorite eyebrow product is the Gimme Brow from Benefit in the shade 3.0. And you guys, this stuff will change your eyebrow game forever. Now I'm just setting my eyebrows with the 24 hour clear brow gel from Benefit and this is my most favorite product as well. Now taking my ABH eyeliner and you guys, this is my favorite eyeliner by the way. Um, I'm just lightly lining my eyes. I'm not doing anything too heavy and I'm here to show you guys up close and personal on how I line them super lightly. Now I am applying some mascara and I'm using the Roller Lash from Benefit. Now I'm using my Morphe eyeliner in the shade Coconut and I'm just tight lining the bottom of my waterline. Now for my most favorite part, I'm using the Shamia Azmin eyelashes in the style Shahima and you guys, these eyelashes are so beautiful. They are wispy. They're just like everything you'd want in an eyelash. They literally make my eyes look like a doll's eye. And the thing that I love most about these style eyelashes is that they're wispy, but they're not like too big at all. They're like the perfect size. Also, another thing that really amazes me about these eyelashes is that the band is so thin. It's not so thick and heavy and hard to put on. It's really flexible and easy to apply. Now taking the shade 1988 from the Umbreezy palette, I'm just smudging out my lower lash line. Now using that same roller lash mascara, I'm just adding it to my lower lashes. Now I'm applying the e.l.f. lip exfoliator all over my lips and just prepping it before I apply my lipstick. Now lining my lips with the Morphe lip liner in the shade Sugar Pie. Now applying my Smashbox liquid lipstick in the shade Audition on my lips. Now for highlight, I'm using my ABH Glow Kit. I'm using the shade Marshmallow and the gold shade underneath it. And I'm just applying it on my cheekbones and above my eyebrow and just looking like a highlighted goddess. Okay guys, so now it's time for hair. And I filmed on how I do my hair with the Revlon One Step Blow Dryer. So yeah, let's get started. Now I'm going to take my Revlon One Step um, in in Styler Blow Dryer. It's... So I have stopped straightening my hair. I have been using this and it's literally the best thing I could have ever done for my hair. Straightening my hair was just so unhealthy. So I feel like this is less damaging than straightening it. So yeah, I'm just going to do my hair really quickly. Like this is so easy, so fast. Straightening my hair, it takes me like about 30 to 40 minutes. With this, it takes me about 25 minutes. So you really need this if you have like wavy or curly hair. It's bomb. It's amazing. And especially for like thick, coarse hair like mine, I'm like super, super impressed by it. Mm -hmm. 